Or eat matters and welcome to Bounty Train. I'm Lucas19, this is part of Gibbon Squad and we're gonna go straight into this. We're gonna go new game, we're gonna try in the campaign first. Different difficulties. I like the idea of impossible mode. That sounds like a challenge, but for now we'll start on normal. What's this say? Okay, that's just how everything works. But we'll just go ahead and start with that. Extinguish a fire before it spreads out of control. That just sounds like some life advice there. Alright, so left click a character to speak with them. Hello, Jeremiah. Good afternoon, Walter. Apparently I'm called Walter. Don't know how I feel about that. My name is Jeremiah Sullivan Black. I used to take care of your father's legal concerns. I'm the one who addressed you regarding his unfortunate demise. Do I care about my father? No. You mentioned the National Pacific Railroad Company. Tell me what all this actually means. Your father was a stockholder of the National Pacific Railroad Company. That's that one there. The same company that's building the first transcontinental railroad extend intended to connect the east and west coasts of the United States. It's a major governmental project, correct? Yes, and according to your father's vision, the railroad should be short and relatively inexpensive to construct. Well, let's see how that goes. However, his associate, Mr. Cornelius Tilbur Tilburdnar, I'm probably butchering that name, plans to construct a lengthier route to bloat expenses and secure greater financing from the government. That seems logical from a business standpoint. The company would receive substantial profit, wouldn't it? So it also makes it better, surely, because it goes through more places and be more convenient, I suppose. True, but if the railroad construction takes the longer route, it shall traverse Indian lands, inevitably causing confrontation and bringing death and suffering to many people. I'm talking hundreds or even thousands of victims. I require your help to avert this. Ah, uh, well, I suppose he has a point. Let's not waste time. I appreciate your business sense. Right now, I need you to deliver a cargo to Mr. Quincy, who is a clerk in Boston. He'll help us with the license we need to travel the Boston-New York line. In exchange, I promise to help him with the shipping. As for the Portland-Boston license, I've already taken care of it. Yay! When can I get to Boston? Where do I find Mr. Qu when I get to Boston, where do I find Mr. Quincy? Curiously enough, you can find City Hall officials in the City Hall if you happen to visit during working hours. I am I correct to assume that I have to transport the cargo using the Rattler train standing at the station? Yes, you are correct. It may not be the most powerful locomotive in the world, but I trust it will serve long enough. I have also managed to procure a small cargo carriage for this enterprise. I understand, I'll get started right away. I don't want to talk anymore. Left click to open the map. That is indeed a map. I don't know American geography very well, so... I'll probably get lost a number of times. Left click to unlock this railroad. I have a license. Spectacular. Left click a city to set the destination. That's my destination. Click the travel button to start your journey. Not gonna tell me about it. It's gonna take a day and seven hours? Better get started then, I guess. That was a long day. Walter, I hope the delivery for Mr. Quincy is going well. In the meantime, I've been speaking with the clerk from the City Hall of Portland. I have assured him that you are a person he can count on, and the city is now prepared to offer you some commercial contracts. This should help us to earn money for, for our venture. If you fail, it will be at the expense of your good reputation, and they may no longer consider your services. Do not let me down. Regards, Jeremiah Sullivan Black. I don't want to ruin my reputation. Worked so hard to build it. Like, that's me, apparently. I look like a fine, upstanding gentleman with my Smith & Wesson and my bone knife. 
Some buildings can be visited with a left click. So it can't. Oh, there he is! He looks terrifying. Yeah, that, that one there. Splendid. My friend Jeremiah has not let me down. You don't seem to be from around here, young man. I haven't seen your face in the city. I don't look like a sort of person who tell the truth, do I? Or do I? No. I'm just an employee. I work for National Pacific Railroad. Mr. Black entrusts me to transport the goods to your city. Well, most employees these days are paid in pennies. Would you mind helping me in a small venture? I'll pay you if you do it quickly. No problem. Tell me, a cargo to Utica. Cargo delivery to Utica according to Queenstown calls. Retain two tobacco sacks. Arrive in Utica. Visit City Hall. I've got ten days to do this. Mr. Quincy asked you to deliver some cargo to Utica and gave you a license to use the Boston Utica Railroad. I get two hundred dollars. Well, my reputation will go up and I get some experience. I, I like how the penalty is actually three times more negative than the positive I could get. Uh, I'm guessing. Uh, yeah, I moved the window. Okay, understood. Right. I, could, yeah, I don't want to speed up time. I don't, well. Um. I just wanted to get rid of that message. No. Now I need to buy stuff. You're called America Brooks, apparently. Okay. I don't... But I want to buy stuff. Post office. Coblet. Hospital. If I... No. I'll buy stuff. Buy some useful items. Sure. But, uh, that's the, you are literally just selling boots. Ah, oh, keep moving the window. Right. Can't cut it. I want to do this. I've, I've apparently got. Okay, I've been given the. Um, I've been given the things. Well, where am I I'm going here? Yep. I have a license. Right. Let's. Let's go! Choo choo! There we go. Now, visit City Hall. Have you brought the cargo for Mr. Quincy? Yes, it is delivered. Send Mr. Quincy my regards. Could you help us out with another task? Oh, sorry. What kind of task? Um. Oh. Can't do these. Now, can I? I can't get to. Cleveland, can I? Let's... Where's... That's Buffalo, that was one of the things. Thing. Where the hell is Cleveland? There's Cleveland. I don't really have a lot of money. How much does Buffalo cost? I don't have a license, so I'd like to buy one. No, I can't buy the license. Okay. Now I need to arrive in Portland. Talk to Jeremiah in Portland. Okay, so I need to go back here. Uh, coal needed at 1.1 1 .1 out of 1.8 tons. So I'm going to have. I'm going to run out of coal soon. Monthly report: income two hundred dollars. Total two hundred dollars. And expense to net profit loss two hundred dollars. Hooray! And get rid of that quest. I've done that. Right. Talk to Jeremiah. Everything's fine. Although I didn't get a Boston, New York license, but I delivered the cargo. Oh, in that case, we'll need to buy the license for two hundred dollars. Also, we'll need a passenger carriage if I'm going to travel to New York with you. Riding his cargo should be beneath us. Where can I get the license? I know someone who might help us. Just bring me the money. That won't be a problem. Right, so that's that completed. Now I need to talk to Jeremiah again. Here is the money for the license. Good, actually. I was a little worried you wouldn't bring me the money since I already paid for the license. It's here with me now. I'm glad I was mistaken. God's sake. I'll just give me the license for free. 
almost finished, right? Let me get that. I need to obtain four hundred dollars. What's that mean? <gasps> Choose a perk. Kung Fu? Agility? Let's go agility. Reload speed. I think that was. Probably should have paid closer attention. Now we're gonna okay the market. Okay. If that's coal, I do need to buy some coal. Right, station. Now will I do I have quests yet? Yes. But I can't do any of these quests. Does it tell me what I can sell in places? It's got a hospital and a cobbler. Um, right. Almost finished. Um, should I just buy stuff and hope I can sell it? So this, if I paid thirty-two dollars on bar. Now, if I go to Boston, so I can change co that, and that changes the amount of time it take. It it makes it take longer, but I save on coal. Right. So if I was to try and sell my food. How much did I pay? I paid 32. Profit, oh, it tells me that. Profit, $4. Wow. Um. Well, what's that? Fur. Let's see if I buy that. And that's a lot of cotton. That's as much cotton as I can carry. Uh, let's see if I can... If I had that license, I'd, I'd, it won't, or it won't give it to me until I've got uh, the four hundred dollars. Right, market forty-eight dollars profit. I'll take that, and one dollar profit. I might as well keep that for now. Uh, what's that? Medicine. Let's buy that. Oil. I'm buying that. Can I buy any more stuff? I can buy tobacco, but that's already what I delivered here, so probably using something I want to sell in Portland. That's my cargo quantity. Come on, little choo choo train. Right. Market. Twelve dollars. Lot oh twenty seven dollar loss. No, I'm not selling that. And that's a ten dollar loss. Weapons I can't afford. Hmm. I happen to buy where oil is quite expensive in the first place. I'm gonna need to buy more coal. Oh, Boston sells me coal. I hope I sell stuff for a profit so I can get coal. A man in Portland can lend us mo some money. I've met a person in Portland who can lend us some money. I have no idea about the conditions and he does not look like a banker. I think the money he proposes might not be 100% legal. Still, if you think it's a good option, you can talk to him yourself in Portland. His name is Spencer Alvarez. You can find him on the platform at night. Regards, Jeremiah Sullivan Black. Oil. Oh, $112 profit. Yeah, I'll take that. And that's, again, a loss. Uh, I'll just cut my losses on that. I don't seem to be able to sell it for anywhere. Coal. Eight on dollars for that. That's food. Steel. What's that? Jewelry. That's a high-risk venture to buy that. But we'll see in some... Awesome. 
Let's keep going. Really hoping we get some good profit on that jewellery. Market. Come on. $36. Alright as well. And $44 profit on all that. I'm $311 so far. I don't... Do I buy weapons? Let's buy some alcohol. Go back to Boston. Guess I'm going to be going backwards and forwards for a bit here. I guess that sums up most of the game, I guess. Ooh, $215 profit. Right. Let's just top up on coal. Fur I couldn't seem to sell very well. Now this could go wrong, but let's try and see if we can sell that steel and top up top up my money. If that goes well, I should have more than enough money for this challenge. For this quest, I should say. It didn't seem to have it here, so $40 profit. That's not too bad. Jeremiah, here's the money for the carriage. Good, now we need to get a passenger carriage. A small one should do the job. Hold on, where can I get this carriage? Each city has a depot where you can buy different carriages and locomotives. If your train is broken, it can be repaired in a depot as well. That's useful. Depot. Extra small caboot. That, that's the one. Small passenger carriage. So I can just drag that. Or I can just cut that. Can see the stats. So that's one armour. Carry two passengers. Small passenger carriage is the smallest carriage for, pa carriage for passenger transportation. It can only transport two passengers. Also, you can upgrade it as well. Put it on the train. Seems odd that that can only carry two people. Back to station. Walter, have you gotten a passenger carriage? It's right in front of you. Good, I almost thought we would have to walk there. Hurry now, let's go to New York. As you say, Mr. Black. Right, so that's that quest finished. Now arrive in New York and then talk to him again. I can also level up again. So I got a, so agility. It reduces wep range weapon reload time and increases evasion. Kung Fu lessons will increase the character's chance to evade range attacks by 1%. And intellect. Intellect increases the number of skill slots and the chance of causing critical damage. Well, I'll go for a Kung Fu. That evasion chance might be useful. Do, does anyone want to go to New York? Please. No, sir, please do not stare at me like that. My fiancé is a skilled gunman who's taught plenty of men in this city a lesson for disrespecting me. Okay. Do you want to go to Boston? Was Boston the one that was on the way down? Minimum reputation in Portland, minus 39. So you'll literally go on anything. I like how I'm just delivering a person... Does so this person have any significance in making, which is why Portland and Boston, like... Do, do Portland not like this person because my reputation goes up more than it goes up in Boston for delivering them? Is Boston where I go on the way? I think it is. So... So you're on my train. Awful weather, I want to... What? This is good weather. I'm a British and I know good weather. That is indeed Boston. Time for some money. There we go. Some money. Now, does anyone want to go to New York? No. Carry on. So I'll go up and that. We have all the necessary documents. There we go, and now we can go to New York. 
Good day, are you going to New York? I have an urgent letter to my relative who lives in New York. Can you deliver to me? In the middle of a journey, uh, give me a letter. Task. Task? Task description. This task is urgent and uh, you have almost no time left to reach the station. Go as fast as you can to finish this. Good luck. What? Left click a character to select them. To begin shoveling, right, cl right click the coal. Pull up the power lever to increase pressure in the boiler. Ooh. Ooh, it's going up. The needle's going up. Shows current pressure in the boiler. When the arrow reaches the red zone, the locomotive will take damage. Uh, lower the pressure. Ah. Ah, is, watch the pressure going to the red. It's seen pressure be too high, and this will damage the locomotive. Yeah, that seems fine. Shows your distance, your destination. Is that meters or miles? I'm, I'm assuming meters. Oh, I'll keep an eye on that gauge. Let's lower it a bit. Choo choo. To pass turns without damage, reduce speed according to limits. Use the brake for emergency stops. But what? what? Okay. What's that? Boost valve temporarily increases train speed, has a cooldown. N is the speed limit, I'm just guessing. Yeah, that's the dashboard. Come on. Come on, train. Oh, cool. That's a, that's a corner. Oh, good. Slow the pressure. There we go. Around the corner we go. We're halfway there. Can I move you? Yes, I can. Oh, but I, I thought you were. You, you said you were. You were too good for being in the cargo. Get in there. Off we go. Eighty meters to go. Can I zoom out? That's about as far as out as I can zoom. <laughs> Had to check if clicking that would decouple the train. <laughs> oh, I don't have to actually stop in the station. There we go. Now I have to talk to him again. No, guess that. Now I need to go and get the paperwork in order. Meanwhile, I would strongly recommend visiting the post office and subscribe to the local newspaper. New York is a very big and important city, and this subscription will give us crucial insight into the city's economy. That's <sighs> post office. There are no offers. I would like to subscribe to the New York Market News. Eighteen dollars per month. Eighteen. Ah. Uh. Have a nice day. Right. Get your shares from Jeremiah. Oh, I need to give the message to Jack Goodman. You're called Jack. Yeah, you, you're him. Yes, I have a letter for you. Oh, well, that's that done. Um, Jeremiah. Everything is in order. Here is your 4% of the company shares along with some money, Walter. Now we need to find your brother, brothers and sister. They have shares as well. Uh, do I have to? We have a powerful and ruthless opponent. His name is Cornelius, that guy again. And he will try everything to get the shares before we do. Now you have your shares and your locomotive. Is there anything else I can do for you? No. I see I have 4% shares. I'm guessing that's a lot. And that's the evil guy. Yes. 
Obtain a caboose carriage, hire a train guard, and arrive in Buffalo. Strength, okay, focusing. The character learns to hold their breath while shooting, increasing the chance of doing critical damage. Yeah. I like crits. Um, how much do I have to get for a caboose? That's a train. That's a middle caboose. That's an extra small caboose. Two hundred eighty dollars. Well, how are we f always top up on coal? How is that cloth? It's my forty-five dollars worth of cloth. Uh, well, Boston's the next place along, so we'll try there first. Hello, I have some cloth to sell. $140 profit, nice. Well, that's 280. Um let's try selling jewelry. And some medicine. And just because we've got some space. And it's cheap cotton. I'm hoping, because New York is big, that these that think that jewelry have some good worth. What's it say there? Contraband alcohol. Okay, that's probably useful to look at. Right. Market. Let's start with the small thing first. $9 profit. Medicine. $10 profit. Jewelry. $37 profit. Hang on. This tells... I've been ignoring this. Does this tell me what? Does this tell me what the, the bloody price of everything is. So that's sort of so that's sort of buy price and sell price. So if I'm in New York, I can buy cotton for ten dollars and I can sell it for nine. Or does this only tell me like? I, can, I don't know. So then these are where I can go. So. I can buy weapons here, so if I buy weapons that are $39 in Boston, prohibited, but I can sell them for 117 in Portland. Alcohol. If I buy in New York for 70 in Portland it's 108 What about oil? Where's oil on here? Oil. Forty-one dollars and I can sell in... No, it's not the most profitable. Steel. So by twenty-two dollars and in Boston it's actually... It, but in Utica it's got a good price. Eighty-two. Fuck it. To Utica then. It's gonna use a lot of coal. Current chain mass is too high. Chain mass must be lower than 35.5. Use my path. Ah. Can't, can't, can't cancel. Go in. I'm gonna have to take one of these off. No, I don't. No, I don't. Didn't mean to move all of them. There we go. So, 0.7 tons. So we're going to Utica. Wasn't it? Yeah. Um, we fit. Yeah. That'll still make a profit. To Utica. Got to make sure I pick up. Middle passenger carriage available in Buffalo. Okay. I can't go to Buffalo, so that's not really helpful. Right, so I can sell that cotton, that's eight dollars profit, and these two hundred and forty dollars of profit. I'll take that. And I need a caboose. That's a carriage. Extra small caboose. Two hundred and eight dollars. How does one hire someone? I have to. Is it. 
possibly? He didn't say anything. I'm looking for a drop. I can't pay that. What about you? I still can't pay that. Who are you? Is this your train that just arrived at the station? I'd appreciate if you could help me deliver my cargo. What you've got and where you need to... I need to deliver one food to my customer in Boston and one food to my customer in Portland. Yeah, I can do that. Native attacked me on the railroad between Buffalo and Utica and now my train's stuck in the depot until it's repaired. If you make the deal with me, I could give you my passenger carriage. I prefer cash. The carriage is badly damaged but it's still operable. If my words aren't enough, I can offer you $100 for delivery. How about that? Yeah, I don't want... yeah. I don't really want... Um, yeah, I don't really want another passenger carriage at this point. Anyone want to go to... You want to go to New York? You want to go to Boston? Well, I'm going to Boston now. So I'll take you. How long do you need? You've got 7 days and 14 hours. Yeah, it's a good amount of money, but I can't guarantee I'll be there in time. Coal, top up. I'm going to Boston, so... So I've got some space. So I've got cotton. But by here's 21. In Boston, it's worthless. Oil. It's worth more here. <laughs> Tobacco. $20 here. And in Boston, 38 Weapons, I believe, were contraband. In... Port in a Boston. Nice. I'll take alcohol. To Boston. Right, so that's arrived in Boston, so I need to talk to Isaac. Yes, here is your cargo. Wonderful, thank you, goodbye. That's all over with. So that's that completed. Uh, I need to go to Portland next. First off, I've got stuff to sell. Uh, that's that's for here. No, not for here, for the next place, for Portland. So, uh, so we go to Portland next. So in Boston, that's $6 and I can sell in Portland for 26 what about alcohol? No, because I, I, I sold the alcohol here. Uh, fur. Fur, fur, fur. 31, important note. Medical supplies. $60, an important 72. It's a small profit. Jewelry. Kind of small profit again. Cloth. Nope. About steel. Nope. Ah, uh, it seems like this is probably the safest bet. And off we go to Portland. So we made. Uh, apparently, we made a. Net profit lost seven dollars, so I probably lost seven dollars. Okay, so what we've got. Ah, what have I done with the? The angle has changed. What did I do? Oh, there we go. Okay, that was. Odd. Why does that say town reputation? Right, so talk to Ira Andrews. That's you. There we go, and that's that quest done. Oh, no, I need to go back to Utica for that to finish it off. Got stuff to sell. Right, so start off looking at steel. So we've got $72. We're going to get some very small profit. Oil costs $20, and then Utica itself for $42. 
food it is not worth it. Tobacco not worth it. Weapons not worth it. Top up on coal. So any of this worth it? Steel is very pointless. There's oil. Probably should have checked to see if there's any passengers. And here we are. So, Elisha. Customers are paying now about my payment. There we go. I have some money. Buffalo Uka Railroad license. I've made an acquaintance who may help us with the license for Buffalo Uka Railroad. He wants $170 for it. Let me know if you think it's a good price. It'll be staying at Uka for the next 25 days. Um, it's probably worth it. I've got the money. So that's that finished. So I need to talk to Jeremiah. Richard, who happens to be over there. Here you go. So now I can go to Buffalo. Market. Oil to sell $135 profit. Right. And I think for now that's... We've made a good start. We've unlocked a number of places, we're starting to make some money, we've got to grips from the basics. Um, so I think I shall end this first episode here and we shall carry on. In the next video, this game is actually quite enjoyable and I'm looking forward to doing some, to playing this game more and uh, seeing how it pans out as the game progresses. So. I shall see everyone next time.